when it comes to closure, you have to stop going back to the other person and expecting them to give you closure. It is indeed not their responsibility to give you closure. It is your responsibility to give you closure. You are responsible for your human experience. Why would they give you closure? You're still being open to them, right? Or you probably are open to them. And so in their mind, they're going to reap the benefits that you offer as long as they can. Why? Logically, why would they give you closure and say, you know, you need to stop talking to me. Cut me off. Don't ever call me. Don't ever text me. I'm no good for you. Why would anyone say that? They're not going to tell you that because they want the benefits of you. It's up to you to realize that when you are in a toxic situation, closure is a process. Closure does not happen in one day. Closure does not happen in one night. Closure is a process. Closure starts as soon as you start accepting that moving on, being healthy, and being happy is more important than chasing a person that doesn't want you, than chasing a person that does not value you, than chasing a relationship situation, an entity that is not healthy, that is not sustainable. It does not take much to recognize and to identify a toxic situation. Most people can identify it. But what most people are going to do, they're going to stay because they think they can fix it or they have hope that it can get better. There is a big difference. OK, there's two there's two things to, to keep in mind. If a relationship has problems, if people aren't communicating well, there's issues and both people are actively working towards solving the problems. That is never a toxic relationship unless we are talking about violence for me. For me, violence is a is a no go. It's a end all be all. That's just my perspective. Some people can bounce back and recover from violence. For me, it's the end. It's the end all be all for me. That also applies to a relationship with a parent and child. I don't believe in child abuse. I don't believe in child abuse. I don't believe in spousal abuse. I don't believe in fighting. I don't believe that two kids have to fight. I don't believe two adults have to fight. I don't believe in violence as a solution to solving problems. That's my personal belief. If you have a pillar over here where people are working together, trying to solve problems together, listening to each other, talking with each other, changing behavior and working on behaviors, that is not a toxic situation. That is a situation where people are having problems, but they're working together. That's normal. The other option over here is where it's lopsided. You have one person doing all the work of trying to repair or fix a relationship or fix a situation. If this person over here is doing it and the other person doesn't care at all, they even show you that they don't care. They tell you that they don't care. And the only time they come around is when it's convenient for them, when it benefits them. That is toxic. If that person puts you down consistently, they're making you feel dumb and, and they're doing this by call, calling you names, putting you down, calling you crazy, things of that nature. This is a person that doesn't care about solving the problem. They don't. Not at this moment, not with that behavior. So what you have to do is understand that closure is going to always come from inside of here. Maybe they break up with you and they don't give you an explanation. So here's a different situation. What I have right here is my book, Dear Soul, Love After Pain. And I just want to give you the five stages of loss and grief. I believe this information right here will drastically help the healing process. Healing is a process. Closure is a process. The five stages of loss and grief. Uh, it came out in 1969. There's a book called On Death and Dying by Dr. Elizabeth Kubler Ross. Okay, so she came up with this, she put it in her book. She proposed the idea about the five stages of loss and grief. Five stages of grief and loss. Denial and isolation, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. Denial and isolation, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. It's very important that you know that. OK, keep that information with you. Write that down. That is how we deal with grief and loss. OK, now when she's writing that, she's talking about grief, grieving when a person dies, when we lose a family member or friend or loved one. The same process can apply to losing a relationship because you are dealing with a great deal of grief and the feeling of loss. It's the same thing. And so what you have to understand is that it's a process. Now, I listed those in an order, but understand that they don't always have to go in that order. Some people go right to acceptance. 
Some people stay in denial and then go to acceptance. Some people go to depression and then anger. Okay, so understand that it is a process. The most important thing for you to do, all right, the most important thing for you to do is to tell yourself that you're not weak, that nothing is wrong with being sad because of a breakup. That is normal. That's normal. It's perfectly normal to think about them. Don't think that getting over someone or getting closure means you're never going to think about someone. That's not a realistic perspective. You're going to think about anybody that you spend a significant amount of time with. If you date somebody for two years, you're going to think about them in eight years. It may not be the deepest thoughts, but you're going, they're going to cross your mind. Simple as that. Okay? Guys, listen to me. You can get through. All right, you can get through, you can get over it. You have to put yourself first. You can get through and you can get over it. But to give yourself closure at this moment, you have to put yourself first. I believe in a no contact rule, okay? Maybe you be friends with this person down the road, but after a breakup, after it's fresh, after you are trying to heal, we, we know it's over. I believe in a no contact rule. Change your phone number, block them, block them on social media, this is about you. This is about you. This is not about them. This is about you, your healing process. Learn the five stages of grief and loss. Cut them off so you can heal, so you can breathe, exhale, calm, right? Because you want to be calm. You want to be relaxed. You want your shoulders not to have all that tension. You deserve that. And so you have to put yourself first. Healing is about putting yourself first. Getting over someone is about putting yourself first. Understanding that the relationship is now over and it's time for you to move on is about putting yourself first. Okay, do this. Promise me that you will do this. Promise me one other thing. Don't talk bad about your ex because when you talk bad about your ex, you're creating the victim mindset in your head. You are making yourself a victim. Okay, no matter what they did to you, no matter what they did to you, you have to wish them nothing but peace, grace, harmony, love, and abundance. If you cannot wish that for your ex, you will never heal. You will never grow from it. They might be a terrible person, but they didn't start that way, okay? And they started as a person you loved, and you stayed with them even when they were whatever they are. You stayed, okay? And that was your choice. And so because of that, when it's time to go, you need to respect that they gave their time as well. You gave your time. It's not wasted time. It was time you guys shared together experiences that you taught each other. Right. We're not perfect. So we can't just say that our ex is the problem. We're also part of the problem, too. We allow the madness to go on. So we all have to be accountable for it. So appreciate your ex. Be grateful for what they gave you. And now you can move on. Now you can move on. Wish them peace and abundance and happiness, but then come back to come back to center because this is about you. This is about your healing. This is about your recovery. This is about you getting past it. It's about your closure. And honestly, you're more important than whatever they're thinking or whatever they're feeling. Put yourself first.